Welcome back to Dean's Pool Tips here at Q Time Family Billiards in Covina, California. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how to use a bridge. First thing you want to do is don't have your bridge too, too close to the cue ball. You want to keep it about four inches from the cue ball. The second thing you want to do is get your stick out of the way. Don't shoot on top of the stick. Get it out of your way, move it to the left. Your elbow position has to be a side stroke like this. Some people go like this. It can waver back and forth. Like this, you have an up and down motion. And then stroke. This is a typical bridge you might find in a pool hall. It's got a, it's got a few dips in the middle and it does have a high stroke right here on the end. I'm using a bridge that I purchased. It has a little higher angle on it than the standard bridge, so it's good to have your own bridge in your bag if you have it. Now, as you notice, I have to get an angle over the ball to shoot my one ball. You want your bridge about one inch from the uh, uh, opponent's ball, and then about a 45 degree angle on your stick. And in this case, we can't get our elbow up, so we are gonna have to shoot down on the ball. First thing you want to do is line up your shot and then approach, come up on the ball. Why do you use a bridge? You don't want your body stretched out over the table and get you out of your comfortable position. You don't want to be laying out over the table like this. That's why you, whenever you are stretching or reaching, you want to use a bridge. Now remember when you approach the table, if you're not at a comfortable stance, for instance, my cue ball is out in the center of the table, this would be my normal stroking stance right here. Now to reach that cue ball, I'm going to have to get out of my stance down one foot, lean over, I'm out of position at this point. That's when you know you have to use a bridge, get back in your comfortable position, line up for the shot, get your elbow sideways on four inches, five inches from the ball, and execute the shot. That's when you know you need to use a bridge.